Good afternoon from an eerily quiet Hartford. I just wanted to say that despite everything, the college is here. Uh, it may be physically closed, but it's open online in a big way. Tutorials are going online, teaching is going online, uh, all forms of contacts going online, and the university is consulting uh, about whether examinations will have to go online. Next term, I'm going to hold the Heart for Conversations online, and even the John Donne lecture will be online. Actually, thinking about John Donne, it was John Donne kind of recovering from, I think it was typhus or a plague-type disease in late 1623, was in complete isolation. There was no mobile phone or laptop in 1623. He was completely alone in an inner room by himself. And that's where he kind of penned the devotions, kind of chronicling his recovery. And it was there that he wrote the great line, kind of you know, realising what isolation meant, that no man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, part of the main. So all of that, because this will end. There will be vaccines eventually. Already tests are getting more effective and shorter. Indeed, it was our own Professor Shui, Hartford's Professor Shui, who led a team that has developed a test that only takes 30 minutes. We will build the hospital capacity um, to deal with um, those who get kind of struck by the virus and need intensive care. The economy will recover. We will get to the other side of all of this. But it's hard to think of any kind of silver linings in the clouds. I suppose there's one. It suddenly makes you realize kind of how valuable and how we take for granted the simple pleasures of life. Just having a drink with a friend having a conversation with someone you like, throwing them a smile and then throwing you a smile back and not worrying if you're going to infect them. Being able to bounce your child or your grandchild on your knee and not worry if they're going to infect you or if you're going to infect them. And actually all the things about just day-to-day -day life, you know, the smell of coffee, the smell of freshly mown grass, or people going around their business, as they can do when they don't have to worry about social distancing themselves. Let's have all that back. So, keep your social distance. Play your part in being part of the continent, piece of the main, and helping each other through this very difficult period in our national and international life. And above all, stay safe.